Hi guys! Our tutorial for today is how to paint on fondant. First, you'll need a baking paper and a copy of the image that you want to draw. Cut the baking paper just enough so that it can cover your whole image. Then, tape the sides so that it won't move while you're tracing. When all is in place, now you can start tracing the image. Trace lightly and make sure you get all the essential parts. While you're tracing, make sure that you're getting all the essential parts before you remove the baking paper. When you're done, flip the baking paper on the other side. Then you'll have to trace the image again but now you have to make it darker. Make sure that it's dark enough so that it can be easily transferred to the fondant later on. If you think that you got everything that you need, we can now transfer it to the fondant. I have made this fondant earlier so that it has a lot of time to harden. This way, it will be easier for us to draw. Then, get a fondant tool to help you trace out the image. Before going all the way, make sure that your image is transferring to the fondant. It doesn't have to be perfect but just make sure you get all the essential parts. Check properly before removing the baking paper because it will be very hard for us to put it back later on if you miss something. It should look something like this. It's not very strong but just enough so you can make out the image. Now let's paint! You can start by preparing all the colors that you'll be needing. If this is your first time painting on fondant, make sure to try first on the sides so that you will know what you're dealing with.
When you are comfortable with how the paint feels like, you can now start painting on your image. Just make sure not to put any other color on the white parts because it will be very hard to remove it later. On this part, this is a little bit of trial and error. Try to blend the colors as much as possible. Edible paint is quite expensive, so if you're not going to use much of the color, don't pour it. Just stick your paintbrush onto the bottle. This way, you will not be wasting a lot of paint in the process. When you are making names, always start on the middle letter and then work your way around it. Then I will just make our body monochromatic so our jersey will pop up better. Personally, I like to start with the middle tones so that it's easier to blend with the light ones and the dark ones. Add a little bit of highlights to make our arms look better.
Then copy the same procedure on the other arm. Now that our painting is finished, all we have to do is cut it out and put it on the cake. Using a fondant cutter, cut it out as close as possible to the artwork. Just be careful not to cut the artwork itself. For stability purposes, I decided not to cut the middle part of the arm, then I'll just cover it with black paint. And there you have it. I hope you like our tutorial for today. And if you like our video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you!